<laughs> good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Wrapped X here with Good Clean Gaming RX. And today, I'm going to try something a bit new on the channel. This is. Whew, I can actually get some frames. There we go. This is Atlas. Uh, it is a first or third person uh, crafting, adventure, survival, pirate, uh, all of the above kind of game. Um, it's got uh, like hand to hand combat, and left and right punches, and all that kind of stuff. Um, ships, cannons, guns, swords, you name it, uh, mythical creatures. Um, I'm, I'm quite excited actually to see all there is available. Um, so I have gotten uh, some of the different uh, things turned up or down. Um, I've turned the difficulty up. Oop, hello, there we go. Um, just so that I can advance a little bit quicker. Um, Let's see here, skills, we can go ahead and put the health on, there we go. And get the basic tools, there we go. Um, construction, let's go there, basics of building, uh, handyman. Mm, let's see here, we have two points left. Where's the sailing one? Ah, uh, there is a sailing construction mercantilism. Can't remember where that is now. It's in here somewhere. Seamanship, there we go. So we've got to get secrets of building first, we've got to get weaving. So we'll go ahead and unlock weaving. So this one has uh, skill trees. Um, and so, uh, instead of learning a specific skill or specific uh, buildings or items as you would in Ark, uh, this one actually has you learning skills, which then unlocks uh, different items that you can make. So, let's see here, there's a stone pick, I need some more wood for that, so we're going to go ahead and uh, look around, I know there are some, here we go, these kind of scraggly trees, you can harvest from them, just a uh, standard hold E, just as you would in Ark, and uh, get the basic wood and thatch, instead of having to punch the tree. Um, Go ahead and put that pick onto slot one. Uh, one thing that I have noticed that is different uh, in this to arc is that uh, there is an equip timer. So you have to um, you have to wait a moment before you can actually use an item that you've put onto your inventory. Uh, spears, we need more wood. There we go. It's not a long wait with many things. But, uh... That's it. Sorry, I've got the wrong... There we go. There we go. Okay, and that's what it's going. Quite a bit of wood on this one. And down she goes. Okay, so we've got... Okay. Uh, there is a boar over here. Uh, they will attack you if you attack them, so we're going to leave that one alone for right now. Um, unlike in Ark, you cannot just uh, run to any body of water that you see and just start drinking. Um, <laughs> this one has got uh, a little bit more fancy mechanics. You have to go prone and uh, punch the ground essentially. Oop. And then try and get it into this uh, 
white bar in here. There we go, like that. And water comes up out of the ground. So that's got my water refilled. Um, and that'll sit there for a little while. Uh, 34 or so? Well, maybe it's unit based. 32, yeah. It lasts for a little while. And there's our first level up. So we're going to go ahead and increase fortitude. And we're going to learn secrets of building seamanship. Uh, which we'll unlock. Here we go. Seamanship over here. Uh, we're going to unlock basics of sailing and shipwright. And let's come over to here. Advanced tools. No. Nope. There is another. Let's see here. Metallurgy. No. Nope. Archery is three. Hand to hand. Waterkeeper. There is another building thing that I wanted to unlock in here. Um, tool studies. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there is another one that I needed to unlock in here somewhere, uh, which will unlock the forge. We also want to get the. There we go, the smithy. There we go. So that's eight. We're going to have to get a whole level for that one. Uh, and then archery we'll need to learn as well to get ourselves a bow. Uh, but for right now, uh, I'm just going to concentrate on... ...getting all of the items that I need to build ourselves a little base. There we go. And uh, we're going to come and build this over next to the ocean here. Um, this will probably work nicely. So we're going to go ahead and get into our inventory here. And let's see here, we can make storage boxes. Where are the floors? There we go. Okay, that makes six. How much wood do we need for that? Forty. Oh dear. Uh, Let's just go ahead and go with the thatch one. These have a uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, there we go. Let's make nine of those. Uh, we'll make nine of those as well. That'll get us started. Um, we are going to need, looks like, probably more thatch for that. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and... Interesting music. Okay. Oh, some thatch here. like we are overheating. There is a heat wave coming. These I've found in my gameplay are quite dangerous actually. They can kill you quite quickly. Um, and you'd think, oh it's just a heat wave. It's nothing. I've had these in arc. Uh, no, it hits something. Um, for those of you who uh, no, uh, Atlas is made by the same uh, group of people, well, some of the same group of people as made Ark, um, uh, apparently the group that made Ark split into two different studios, and uh, one of them, uh, Grapeshot Games, Grapeshot Interactive, something like that. Um, split off and uh, has been making Atlas. And so I decided since I like Ark so much, I would uh, give Atlas a try. Uh, during the Steam Summer Sale, I was able to get it. Oh my, these are slanted ones. 
I was able to get it for ten dollars, something like that. Yeah, ten dollars and forty-eight cents, I think it was. Uh, and so that was uh, that was quite nice. There we go, wood ceiling. That's what I wanted. And so, uh, because I was able to pick that up cheaply, I am now bringing that to you. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing more of this on the channel, uh, go ahead and uh, leave a like. And uh, if you have the time and inclination, uh, I comment at, at the bottom of the comment section would be wonderful, just to let me know what you'd like to see. Here we go got another skill, and, uh, hello, what, oh, there we go, uh, let's increase health, there we go, and get advanced tools, perfect, okay, uh, we are going to need to make the smithy, we need to hide for that first though, so we're just going to go and thatch ceiling, there we are, and we are going to need more fibre, so, We'll go ahead and... Oh, and as you can see, I am dying again. Uh, this heat wave is killing me. So, we're going to go over to our house. Make a couple of ceilings. There we go. Hopefully, that will stop us from dying quite so quickly. So far, it hasn't really seemed to do anything. Heartbeat pounding in our ears. We are in a shelter now, so we are going back up again. Good. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and make a hat here and put that onto our bald head. Hopefully that will help a little bit. Hypothermic insulation 5, hyperthermic insulation 10. Yes, we'll go ahead and put that on. Hopefully that will will help a little bit. Uh, we cannot make these quite yet because we need more hide before we can do that. So we're going to have to uh, make some more buildings and such. Do some more crafting and all that. There we go. We've stopped overheating. Um, this one... Let's see here. Tartberry. I'm not exactly sure what those exactly increase. It's the orange bar over here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but... Okay, let's see here. We can make a small storage box, so let's go ahead and make that. There we go. And we will go ahead and stick this right there, that'll work. And start putting some of our valuables into here. We don't need the extra hatchet, that's all slowing us down, so we'll just keep all this in here. Um, we are recovering health quite nicely, although there is still a heat wave out there, so... Um, just going to go ahead and go out and do some more harvesting. Um, even though there is a heat wave out here because we really badly need the materials and the extra experience. Rocks to get some flint and stone and metal. I 
do have my harvesting levels turned up to level 10. Uh, oh no, sorry, not level 10. Uh, level 3. Just so that I can get things a little bit faster and, and don't have to spend all of my time harvesting everything. There we go. Our heat wave has disappeared. Perfect. Um, out of stamina. Okay, let's see what else we can make here. Uh, we can make a campfire. That will be useful. We'll definitely need one of those. Um, pop that down here. We've got plenty of metal and stone now, so we'll take these back to the house. There we go, and put these into our infantry here. Lots of uh, lots of wood and everything in there. Uh, we need some carotenoid there. We're going to need to harvest plenty of fiber, so let's go ahead and harvest as much as that. That as we can. And as soon as we get our level up here, we will unlock archery, which I probably should have done first. Exactly what these are now. I believe those are the batteries that I've been eating. Go ahead and stick that fiber into there and those berries into there since I don't really need those. Uh, where. what do I need for that? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into there. Go and make a couple of spears. What else do I need? Uh, do that and ah, I do fire. There we go. And we can go ahead and stick this spear into slot three. Can't quite equip it yet. Let's there we go. Okay. Go ahead and pop over here, and we've got a chicken. Uh, it is a male level 16. Whoop, there we go, perfect. Uh, go ahead and there we go, and then that's got us some uh, hide and some animal meat. Stick our campfire down, put our animal meat into there, and some wood. Get that cooking. And now, I believe we have everything that we need to make our smithy. Not quite. Hide. More hide and more stone. Oh dear. Okay, well, we will have to get some more hide then. See if we can find another unsuspecting chicken. Or a parrot, a parrot would work. Missed. Let's see if we can go pick up our spear. This is a little run. Where did it go? No spear. I guess I'll take that as a no. Hang on, no, we've still got three of them. Here. Piggy. Level 90. 
Uh, that would be why. A level 96. Oh, that was violent. Uh, let's go ahead and increase our weight a little bit. And get archery. There we go. Um, let's also get into here. Shipwright. Um, captaineering. Shipwright. Uh, yes, I think that's... Yeah, that'll be good. Come see what else we can unlock here. Basics of the bow. Good, we'll definitely want that. Uh, we've got eight now. We won't need that quite yet. Let's see, chemicals and tanning. Metallurgy, crafting speed. What else can we learn in here? Basics of weaponry. Yes, let's go ahead and unlock that. Hmm. That'll be good for right now, I think. We'll save some of these. Beast mastery, actually. Let's come up here. Hand to hand combat. Beast mastery. There we go. It's got that unlocked, and we'll unlock this as well. There we go, perfect. Okay. Let's go and find our dead body. There it is, not too far away. Get back the things that we lost. Perfect. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go back to our house. And we're going to see about getting a bow. And with that, we shall slay the nasty beastie. The pig. <laughs> okay, uh, hide, fiber, and there we go. Make two of these. I'm also going to transfer the flint in and the thatch in, as I'm going to need a lot of those for making the stone arrows. And oof, we don't need that many. Let's do 30. Make those, perfect. Um, what else? We can make some cloth armor now. What do we we, uh, we don't have quite enough of that. Shall we down to 28? Okay, let's uh, no, let's pop that back on and make there we go our armor. Fiber that we need. There, okay. So we have that. Let's go ahead and get all of our shoes and everything. Good. Um, and each of those. We're going to put this into our number three infantry slot and put our stone arrows into there. Can't put that. That's strange. Okay. Uh, perfect. Okay. Now let's go and find the pig that killed us and have our revenge. There's one. That's probably it right there. No, that's a level 16 piggy. Ha! Ah, revenge is sweet. Go ahead and... Get all the 
fur and hide that we need. There we go, perfect. That's got plenty of meat. Let's take this back over to the house. Oh, we've gotten a level up. Apparently killing things is quite good for your levels. We will increase... Uh, let's increase fortitude. That will decrease some of our damage. We're going to learn riding and taming. What else can we learn here? Medicine, cooking, water keeper. That's important. Um, cooking. Medicine is probably a good thing to learn. Yeah, let's get a swimming speed bonus. This is a pirate game, we will be swimming. Medical studies, ah, good. We'll have to get that next time around. Okay, ah, inventory. I believe we can now make... Yes. We can now make our smithy. So we'll go ahead and get into here and transfer in the wood and flint that we need. And... Where's our smithy run off to? Hello. Water and vessel. Loom. Forge. Come on. Smithy. There we go. We will go ahead and make that. And let's see here. We don't quite need that yet. Fibre. Now we're going to need some of that, but... Wood staircase, that's not what I wanted. Where's the smithy? There. Smithy, perfect. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that down in our little house here. And now we'll be able to start building metal tools. Let's put our stone, wood, fibre, thatch, flint, metal, there we go, into there. We can build a metal pick. Put our hide into there and get a metal hatchet. And a metal sickle. We're going to need these. These are for making our ship. So, we are going to equip each of these items. Uh, hatchet. Let's put our sickle into full there. And now we can go about getting all of the items that we need for making our boat and get off of this island and go exploring. So, I've turned up the weight gain per level. So that I'm not constantly running backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards trying to get all of the items that we need. So I'm just going to get all of the wood and thatch that we need here as quickly as possible. Here we are. That we need like multiple hundreds for this. So, there we go, let's put a level up. We're getting close to overburdened here, so I'm going to go ahead and take this back. Very full. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and increase weight here. There we go. What is that glowing purple thing? I'm wondering if that's maybe a loot crate? Oops. And uh, let's... Ah, transfer in these things. No, nope. we need to put those into our smithy. There we go. Okay. Thatch. Wood. Wood. Ah, uh, we didn't get any of that yet. Okay. Let's put on our 
boots and gloves. There we are. Perfect. Um, what other skills should we unlock? There is armoring, I guess. There we go. That's armoring. Perfect. Uh, Captain Earring is in here. We'll go ahead and unlock that. I'm not sure what this skill music and dance. I'm not sure where that comes from. And piracy, that's in the basics of crew, ship maintenance. Ah, music and dance, right there. It's crew foo larder. Let's unlock that. Oh, only one point available. Firearms. Where do we get firearms? Simple bullet and flintlock. Okay, so we've only got one point left. And unfortunately, you can only get to level 8 in Freeport. Um, once you hit level 8, you cannot level up anymore in Freeport without going in and tweaking things. And I kind of wanted to play this uh, according to how it was designed. And so besides turning up a couple of different rates, I haven't really changed anything. So we'll go out and harvest all of the fiber that we can. Just gonna get like maybe a thousand fire here so that we don't have to keep running back and forth. There we go, that's that's a good amount. Okay. So we're gonna come back to our house here. Put our fiber into here. There we go. And we're going to make a shipyard. And this will allow us to build ships. There we go. Put that into slot 5. And I'm going to come out here because I know there is a drop off here. And that way our ship will be able to get out into the deeper ocean. Water is too deep there. Perfect. And now we can get up here, access the inventory, and we are going to need a lot of items. A lot of wood, thatch, metal, fiber, all that kind of stuff in here to make the framework for our ship. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and transfer out. All of there that. we are, and that's got our hole complete. And I'll bet those are spots to actually put foundations and such in place. That would make sense. We should... No, no, release ship. There we go! Right, let's... here we go. HMS oh, HMS Rebecca. There we go. And now we have a boat. Perfect. And I'm afraid. Ah. <laughs> uh, Sailing skills are somewhat limited. Nice. Oh, 
whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, ah, there's our rudder. Okay, perfect. Down to fully closed. Oop, we've sailed right past our intended target. Let's give it a shot though and see. Perfect. Sea grapes, gold coins, a blueprint. I like it. Now let's hope we can get back into our ship. Uh oh! Whew. That was close. We got attacked by something down there. Well, that was interesting. Definitely going to need to make ourselves a ladder to get back onto our ship. Uh, let's go ahead. Go ahead and open those all the way up. Just sail around this island here. Ooh. Man, okay. So we've got to man the sails before we can really uh, expect much of a crewing experience. X to drop anchor and W to raise anchor. When sails are manned by crew, there we go, Sloop has a level up. This is interesting. L to toggle ladders. Not sure if we have a ladder on here or not. I don't think we really do. Oh, there's another one over here. way over here to this Oof. things are getting a bit splashy go and fully close perfect to get onto our ship again. Wait for a wave and jump, apparently. 
Okay, uh, let's go ahead and access the properties here. There we go. And how do we... War drums, raise the colours. Journeyman thatch door, very nice. Some different things here. Uh, access ship properties to apply. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Oh, there we go. Wait a moment. Option. Oop. Option ship. Uh, ship properties. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we can add additional weight. Sturdiness, resistance, extra crew, extra beds, damage. Uh, let's add sturdiness, I think. Yeah, extra crew. <laughs> we are going to uh, we are going to need a little bit of extra crew on here, I think. Let's go ahead and sail fully open. We're facing into the wind here, so I'm really not worried about that. There we go, and we've got a little bit of wind with us now. So... Oh, tacking is going to be interesting with this. Let's go ahead and come over here and rotate the sail. Rotate the sail to say negative 45. That's not going to work. I have to rotate it again. Sail positive 75. Let's try that. There we go. That's a bit better. Perfect. And now we can tack, even though we are kind of going against the wind. <laughs> it works. Sail, 45. No, no. Okay, so we've got to go to 75 then. Rotate to 75. And that'll kind of... No, maybe we need to turn the other way then. Negative 75. There we go. That works rather nicely. Well, nicer at least. It's not the best, but we can we can work with it. We'll just take this back to our Shipyard over here. Definitely going to take some practice <laughs> to get to the point where we're halfway decent at this. Sleep this another level up. Oof. Okay. Ah, ooh, whoop, whoop, we're swinging into the negative region there. And we're not getting any speed from our sails. Oh, oh, oh. Let's not break anything yet. Sails fully closed. 
and drop anchor. And there we are. We have made our maiden voyage in the HMS Rebecca. And that will be it for us today. Ahoy and into the water! Perfect. Alright, we'll, we'll swim back to our little house here. So, how are you guys liking this gameplay? Um, is it something you would like to see more of? Uh, something you don't much care for? Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned for more gameplay. Alright everyone, take care and I will see you in the next video. Ahar!